So this is the product I used, L'Oreal. Got it from Target. There's three components that go into it, two powder packets and one cream tube that you mix all together. So right now I'm just following the, following the, the directions on the packet as far as mixing the components. So again, this is L'Oreal Super Blonde. Um, I can't remember the color now, but hopefully you can see it on the package. And I'm just following the, following the directions to mix up. So that's the lightning cream, the tube of cream that you add after you mix the two powders. You want to add the entire contents of that tube. And again, you don't have to use this particular product. Um, I just found that it worked well for me. So I've already laid down aluminum foil and I'm just lightly coating all of the hair. And I want to start at the bottom and work my way up. So I'm using my application brush because I like the control that that gives and I'm just smoothing the color product all over the hair as you can see here. And I just started by eyeballing where I wanted the color to start. I started about halfway up on the bottom. And once I flipped it over, uh, flipped over the wig, I started again about halfway up, smoothing the color onto the hair. And that way I can always go up higher if I desired. And the brush really allows you to get each strand coated with a good amount of product. So I'm going to flip it over again to the underside because I want to start determining where how, or how far I want the color to come up on the sides. So I'm just going to concentrate on the sides of the wig now, smoothing the color on. And each time I flip the wig over or pick the wig up, I try to grab it from the inside of the lace. That way I don't get um, any of the bleach on a part of the hair that I don't want to be lightened. So again, I'm just separating the hair, missing, you know, getting any of the spots I missed with the color, filling it in. Now, if you've noticed, I've turned the brush in a vertical direction. So I'm painting the color on in a vertical direction. That helps to uh, break up the color line so that you don't have a line where the color starts going across your hair. And if you take your time and just individually grab those strands like that, it helps to really blend the color in. So I just flipped over to the other side working up on the sides and I pretty much took the color all the way up 
to the ear tabs, where the ear tabs are on the inside of the lace. I figured that's where I wanted the, the color change to start. Here's where I'm really concentrating on just painting sort of individual strands, separating and painting individual strands, just so that I don't get uh, a blunt line of color going across the back of the, the wig. So I wanted to get a little bit more color in the front, so I picked up the wig here and I'm painting it on individually with my fingers and just concentrating that bleach right towards the front, right where those ear tabs are, um, so that we can so that I can bring the color up a little bit higher in the front, uh, where I have some of the shorter layers already cut into the wig. So again, I'm just applying the product and smoothing it out with my fingers up to about the ear tabs on both sides. So here I'm just again applying the color to individual vertical strands of hair to break up the coloring and to feather the coloring in a little better so that there's not a blunt line of color going from light to dark across the back of the wig. Now since I want the color to gradually go from light to dark, I'm going to really concentrate more color on the tips of the hair at the very ends. So I've just gone back in, loaded up the tips of the hair, the ends of the wig, with a lot more product, and I'm going to smooth that out. And I'm going to flip the wig over and do the same thing on the underside really concentrating more of the hair color on the ends of the hair. Now I'm going to wrap it up in the foil and let it sit and process. I checked several times, but once it looked like it was to the color that I wanted, I just removed it from the foil and using warm water, I washed and conditioned the wig according to the instructions on the package. Uh, the, the color uh, L'Oreal product actually came with a color enhancing uh, shampoo and conditioner, so I just used those according to the, the directions on the package. And you'll be able to see the finished product at the end. Pictures at the end. Also, there were pictures at the beginning after I styled the wig. The pictures at the end are just after the wig was air dried on a mannequin head um, and just worn with the natural body wave pattern of the wig. This was my royalty wigs um, purchase. I was not happy, as you know, with the. Uh, 
condition of the hair previous to this so I wasn't scared about <laughs> adding color. I said if I messed it up, oh well, it wouldn't be much of a loss. But what was surprising is that I actually like the texture of the hair much more now after it's been color processed. So it was one of my least favorite wigs and now it's one of my more favorite wigs because one of my favorite wigs now because of the color process that was done. So I'm just drying, gently rolling and patting the excess water out and stay tuned for pictures at the end. Thank you. 